Hello entrepreneurs! Today I'm going to talk to you about what are the minimum sections you should have on your terms of use on your website or TNC as they call them, right? You heard that um, term a lot of times, I'm sure. So I'm Olivia Marco Iordanescu. I'm a lawyer and I help online entrepreneurs streamline their legal processes so they can grow their business. And today I'm going to talk to you about what you should have on your website in the terms of service section. First of all, you should have a description of the parties, who you are, your registered seat, the name of your company, but also who the clients are. And you should also have a description of the subject matter, like what are the services that you are offering? Um, and what do they consist of? How do you offer them? What are the means through which you're offering them? Are you offering them through a platform? Are they pre-recorded or live? Um, whatever materials you are including with those services. So that kind of stuff. Um, thirdly, um, you should have a description of your rights and obligations. And here you should include um, also um, things like personal data protection and privacy. And in fact, make sure that you have a separate section on that, which is called the privacy notice and a separate section on tracking, um, which is the cookie notice. And I'm gonna make a separate video on those, those two topics. Um, okay, fourth, you should also have a section about your clients' rights and obligations, um, including things like um, intellectual property rights. What are they allowed and what are they not allowed to do with the contents of your web page, but also with the services and what you are delivering to them? Um, next, um, make sure you have disclaimer of warranties and limitation of liability. You are a service provider and as such, you, have, you do not have a result obligation, but a diligence obligation. And it's very important that your clients understand that from the start. Um, of course, make sure you provide for the applicable law and the jurisdiction and also for a contact and a complaints procedure in your terms of service. The people need to know how to get a hold of you and, you know, what happens in case something doesn't go the way um, they want it to. And last but not least, make sure to um, inform them what is the latest version of your terms of service, like when was it last updated, and that's about it. If you have any questions and need more information, do not hesitate to contact me. Um, I will drop the link before below where you can um, reach me. Thank you. Bye.